Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Frano, and I'm going to show you a quick ball routine on the exercise ball. So, first we're going to start out with what I call the ball hug. We just roam forward and back, and forward and back. It helps, it helps if you have a mat in your knee. Okay. Forward and back. What that does, it opens up the disc spaces in your lower back. It helps track and stretch out your lower back. Okay. And then you can do for strengthening, you can do a back extension. Come up with both arms like this. And then you can also do alternating ones. Hold it for a few seconds in each position. And you can do, say, um, repetitions of 10. 10 to 15, but, and then you turn over. By the way, how you know the ball is the right size for you? If you sit on it like this, sit up straight on your thighs, should be parallel with the ground. So that's how you know the right size ball to you. And over time, balls tend to lose air, so if you have one at home, every once in a while you do have to inflate it some more. So the ball stretch, Pretty easy. This is you just reach back, rest your head on the ball, and reach back like this. You can reach back like this also. This really stretches out your shoulders, your upper back. Really can help improve your posture after sitting all day and hunching, hunched out, over forward all day. So you hold that for 20, 30 seconds. You can even do it three or four times a day at home. Okay, next we'll do some crunches. You're gonna come on back here. Hands behind your head, suck your abdomen all the way in and keep it held in. And you're gonna slowly come up. Just a couple inches is all you need. And you wanna keep your abdomen Sucked in the whole time. You don't want to just come up and let your abdomen protrude out because it will give you a more protruding abdomen, which defeats the whole purpose. So you want to keep this in. Come up slowly. You might, you know, you can do 5, 10, 15, 20, as many as you can comfortably do. At a certain point, you'll feel the burning sensation, you can do a few, you know, three, four, five, and pass there. And then you can even add some obliques, um, you know, twisting is, uh, is optional. After you do regular crunches, you could twist to the left and to the right. And again, you're keeping your abdomen sucked in, you only have to come up a couple inches. And you can do some pelvic tilts. We you bring your pelvis up at the same time, keeping your abdomen sucked in again. Or you can just keep your head back and you know, do some, some pelvic tilts alone like this. This strengthens your glutes and your, the back of your thighs. And lastly, you can do some neck extensions to strengthen the back of your neck and improve your posture. So what I'm doing is I'm just coming up to my neck and I'm pressing against my neck. So my, I'm pressing downward against my hand. And, and as I come up, I'm still pressing with my hand against my neck. 
pressing into my hands, pressing downwards towards the floor, and then still offering resistance as I come up. This is a strengthening the back of your neck, your neck extends your muscles. This is a great exercise to do to help improve your posture and strengthen, strengthen your neck. And then you can finish up with a nice stretch. And then push the ball back and sit up at the same time. All right, well that was a quick ball routine that should really help you improve your flexibility and your posture. See you next time.